Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my favorites video for all of 2018. So I know this video is coming out a little bit later than a lot of other people's favorites videos, but I really wanted to like go through my collection and out of the products that I discovered in 2018, really pick the ones that left a huge impression on me that I still use all the time and just really represent 2018 as a whole for me because I didn't want this just to be a quick like, oh, this is what I liked this month. I wanted this to encompass the year. So I went back and I rewatched all of my favorites videos. If you do want to catch up on those, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards. But I really did a big reflection on 2018 and I picked out my top 10 products, which was pretty difficult, especially when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I only have one eyeshadow palette. Yeah. So I picked out my top 10 products of 2018 and I'm going to share those with you guys today. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these favorites videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's jump in first with some primers, and I believe I'm counting these as technically one product. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm counting these as one product just because be they're dupes of each other as far as I'm aware and in my experience. These are some putty primers. So this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and then this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. The e.l.f. one is newer to my collection than the Tatcha, but I fell in love with the Tatcha within days of trying it out, and I was so happy to find such an affordable dupe for it, because if you don't know, this primer is $52. Yeah, and this is $8. And I did a side-by-side -side comparison of these two, and I actually liked the way the e.l.f. performed better. So I am really glad that I was introduced to this type of primer in 2018 because I feel like not only does it help my foundation and everything sit on top of it just so much better throughout the day, this is just so good for my skin. I feel like sometimes with some other primers, especially mattifying primers, that it, I can feel my skin being really tight. Uh, and this is just so moisturizing, especially in these winter months. It's just, oh, mm, really glad I tried these out. Also, it's just starting to, like, pour outside. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear that, but it's supposed to storm, like, all day in the Tri-State area. Next, I want to talk about some foundations that just swept me off my feet in 2018. One, ridiculously expensive and one ridiculously affordable. So that first expensive one I mentioned in videos all throughout the beginning of this year, and I still love it. This is the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. I picked this up the first time I went to a Blue Mercury store close to my boyfriend's house. So if you don't know what Blue Mercury is, it's just a really like high end, not indie, but it's like a separate makeup store where they only really sell luxury items. They sell, um, I'm trying to think, like they sell Chantecaille. They sell, what is that one foundation? with the really La Mer. <laughs> That's it. They sell, they have a whole La Mer section and everyone's there to like help you put things on. So I've only been there a couple of times because it's pricey, but I love this foundation and I've worn it all year and I panned an entire one of these and then I bought it again. This is like an $80 foundation and I'm pretty, you know, uh, I can't even really say that anymore, can I? Like, I'm, I'm always out for a good deal, but if I find something expensive that I love, I'm willing to invest in it. And this is definitely one of those products. It definitely has a different texture and formula to foundations that I had tried up until that point. And I feel like the gel kind of formula just worked so well with my skin. Uh, ah, I got so many compliments wearing this foundation. I love the way it looked throughout a full work day. Ah. This is one of my favorite foundations, one of my favorite luxury products, which if you want to see like a favorite like luxury, crazy expensive product video, let me know because I can do that too. But love this foundation. 
The next foundation that I fell in love with is so affordable and just, ah, so bulletproof. I've mentioned this, I don't, I can't even count how many times. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Originally, I did a video on this about their shade range and about how much I loved it, but I hope that they had expanded their shade range. Right before I, I made that video, they expanded their shade range. They actually have a nice shade range. I'm not sure if all the shades are now available in store, but I do know they're available online through their website and I believe through Ulta. I will double check on that but this is one of my favorite foundations. Like like I feel like the Chantecai and this one are on the same playing field and the price difference is insane. This is I think around six seven dollars at Ulta. Oh my god I love this foundation. I have the shade 030 Sand Beige. Cannot get enough of it. Two concealers that I discovered and absolutely fell head over heels with in 2018. Um, one's more higher-ish end and then one is more affordable. The affordable one is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Concealer. I tried out their foundation, wasn't a huge fan, but this concealer is incredible. For under my eyes, I like the shade C6 because it just brightens up just the right amount. I found the shade C5 in the concealer is more close to like my actual skin tone and not great for highlighting where I wanted it to highlight. This, I bought the super size version. It's supposed to have three times as much product as the original, but I love both of them. So I've already panned two of these and I've rebought two of them. I like this better than what everyone says it dupes, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape creases like hell under my eyes no matter what I do. I have fine lines, so I'm going to have creasing kind of no matter what, but there are definitely some formulas that crease more often in those lines and quicker in those lines than others. And this is just such a great affordable option. The next concealer that blew me away, and I really wasn't expecting this like at all, is from Kylie Cosmetics. The Kylie concealer has become quickly like my go-to concealer for 2018. I bought three shades of this because I had trouble finding a shade. Uh, the shade I'm using right now is Ivory. I have already panned one of these. I'm halfway through this one. I did buy a third one that I was going to use, but I gave it to a friend of mine because she was really curious and wanted to know about the formula, and I wanted to let her experience that as well. But as soon as I run out of this, I'm going to buy another one. I love this concealer. It is full coverage. It stays throughout the day. It doesn't make me look too dry. It doesn't sink into my fine lines. I just love this concealer. The next product that I fell in love with, I actually did a video all about the Hourglass Holiday Palettes. And if you saw that video, you'll know that I love this Unlocked palette so much. I can use every single shade in this palette. I love the blushes. I love this bronzer. I'm wearing the palette on my face today. It's just such a nice, quick go-to palette that just leaves you oh, beautiful and seamless. I like the highlighter. I like the face powders. I like the bronzer. I like the blushes. It's rare for me to find a face palette that just everything works well and everything looks beautiful. And while this palette was expensive, I love the Hourglass formula and I 100% think this was worth it. And as I'm traveling, I'm traveling this weekend, actually my friend is like around the corner about to pick me up. As I'm traveling this weekend and as I'm traveling for work in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna bring this. Before I get to my eyeshadow palette pick, I wanted to do like an honorable mention for a makeup tool that blew my mind. This is the AOA Studio Blender in the Black Teardrop. This is a $1 makeup sponge that has blown every other beauty blender, beauty blender dupe, target sponge out of the water. I love this. Two pieces. It's a dollar. I threw out all of my sponges and I have 10 of these and that's all I use. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend everyone try this out. It is really, really great. It's a little bit denser than you're used to from a sponge, but I just find that actually it helps me blend out foundations and concealers better. Oh my God, I cannot say enough good things about this sponge. Love it. Try it out, please. Now last, but certainly not least, my eyeshadow palette pick for 2018. I bought a lot of palettes. And I went through 
a lot of my reviews, I went through my collection and I picked a palette that I could not really find a fault with. With a lot of the palettes that I purchased and reviewed, they were like, oh, I love it, but this. Oh, I love it, but that. Like with the Alien palette. I loved the Alien palette, but I could not stand the packaging. So I picked a palette where I love the packaging, I love the shades, and I love the formula. And that's the Blood Sugar palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love this whole VHS aesthetic. It looks great on display, but if you want to just have the palette, it might be a little bit bulky, but it's square. It's flat. It can sit in a drawer or it can sit on display. I love these secure little handle things right here. And I love that you get a large mirror and all of these shades. Oh, this formula is gorgeous. I really think like Jeffree Star Cosmetics, like they had, they were doing okay before this palette, but then this palette came out and I think they became infamous really you've got this first row of fairly neutral shades but they're gorgeous and you've got some nov like lovely shimmers in here the second row you start getting a little bit more adventurous with some pinks and some purples and then this last row is what really gets me with these reds and these deep burgundies and these super deep purples Ugh. i know a lot of people tend to kind of assume my eyeshadow preferences from what i'm using in videos but this is what i was using a lot of the time when i wasn't filming because i don't film every day though it kind of feels like it <laughs> i don't film every day i kept going back to this palette i kept this palette on display in my collection and i really couldn't find anything i didn't like about this palette so i really think this was a great investment i love the packaging i love how versatile it is and i love that i can also take this traveling it's sturdy. I'm afraid to take some palettes traveling with me because I'm like, oh my god, what if they break? What if they shatter? Blah. I'm not worried about that with this palette. So those are my top 10 products of 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite products from 2018 were and if you still use them to this day. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.